Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I want to show you this amazing theme by David Marty. This is the kids theme. Now I have two children. I have a six-year-old and a three-year-old. I've already showed my three-year-old this theme and he fell in love with it. My daughter's in school right now, but I'm going to surprise her when she gets home. This is already on her Raspberry Pi in her room, ready to go. It's going to make life so much easier for me. So we'll go right in here. It does support video snaps. It also supports box art. Obviously, some game art here. It just looks so good and it works so well. There's a couple little settings you might want to tweak with when you do install this, but I'm going to go over those in just a second. I just kind of wanted to show you guys this because I actually really like this. Go into Nintendo and I just have all kinds of different box art. I have some videos in some of them. But it seems to support everything that I have here and it looks great. So this is pretty easy to install. I'm gonna go ahead and switch back to the carbon theme, the stock retro pie theme, and I'm gonna show you how to install this and what I did to make it work correctly. All right, I've switched back to the stock carbon theme. We need to make sure we're connected online. I'm connected with ethernet, but Wi-Fi will also work. The first thing we wanna do is update our setup script. So we're gonna go into the retro pie menu and scroll to retro pie setup. From here, we're gonna scroll down to update RetroPie setup script, press okay, and yes. Now we've updated the RetroPie setup script. In the gray box here at the very top left-hand corner, there's a RetroPie version. This is version 4.2.18. Updating the RetroPie script will change this version, but it doesn't change the version of RetroPie. You need to run a basic install. I don't know which version you're on, so I do recommend doing a basic install at this time. The basic install could take a little while to complete, so just sit back and relax. I definitely recommend doing this every week or every two weeks because new features are always added, and some of the stuff in this theme might not work for you depending on the version of RetroPie you have right now. So after we've done the update, we can go ahead and exit the RetroPie setup script. Now from the RetroPie menu, we're just going to go to ES Themes. And we're going to scroll down until we find the Kids theme. And here we are, kids. Go ahead and press OK. It's going to install for us. Now, David Marty has made some amazing themes for Emulation Station and RetroPie. I want to give him a big shout out. I'm going to leave links to his channel down below. Now that it's installed, click Cancel. We're just going to back out. Press Start on our controller. Scroll to UI Settings. And we're going to scroll to Theme Set. We're going to find kids and go back. Now we have the kids theme install, but if we press up, it kind of scrolls. You want to press start on your controller, UI settings, and change this to instant. We're going to go back, back, and now it scrolls correctly. So if you got kids, you will definitely appreciate this theme. If your kids love playing retro games, this is the theme for them. Big shout out to David Marty. I'm going to leave links to his channel down below because this is going to make life so much easier for a lot of parents with younger children who love to mess around with the Raspberry Pi. If you guys could, hit that like button and subscribe because I got a lot more coming. And like always, thanks for watching.